Welcome back to another instalment of New Zealand's Bird of the Week, where in this video I will be talking about the Australasian Crested Grebe, that with their bizarre mating displays and poor ability to walk on land, are surely some of New Zealand's more unique water birds. I hope you enjoy. Australasian Crested Grebes are relatively large birds, coming in at lengths of 48 to 61 centimetres and weights of 1.1 kilograms. They possess a slender neck and sharp bill adapted for their aquatic environments, and possess a distinctive black double crest and bright chestnut and black cheek frills, which they use in their complex and bizarre mating displays. There are three subspecies of Australasian crested grebes, with the subspecies Podiceps cristatus being found across Europe and also in New Zealand, with the other two species, P. infusticus and P. australis, being more sedentary. They may be mistaken for waterfowl or shags at a distance, although their distinctive plumage and beak shape is unlikely to happen at a closer range. The most similar birds are the other grebes found in New Zealand, including the Dabchick, Little Grebe and Hoary-Headed Grebe, although they are all small in comparison and lack the head crests and tippets of their larger counterpart. Despite their similarity to other water birds like ducks and shags, grebes are actually quite distinct in terms of their relation to other water birds and are in fact most closely related to flamingos, groups within the clade Mirandorniths and share many similarities. Birds primarily feed on fish, but will also eat small vertebrates like lizards, frogs and even insects. Birds possess large feet, with broad lobes on the toes and small webs connecting the front three toes, with the hind toe also having a small lobe, with the lobes working like the hydrofoil blades of a propeller, allowing for efficient and speedy diving. To maximise their effectiveness, the feet are placed far back on the body and swim by simultaneously spreading out the feet and bringing them inwards, with the webbing expanding to produce forward thrust, much in the same way as frogs. Because of this unique anatomy, birds, although being able to move and even run short distances, are prone to falling over and therefore nest on the water's edge to minimise travel distance. Birds have elaborate mating displays, where they are renowned for their highly ritualised courtship displays, such as head shaking that shows off their head crests, as well as the weed dance, where they dive and offer each other water weeds, and the ghostly penguin, where they rise chest to chest while walking on water. Nesting occurs between September and March, with nests being generally made of sticks and water weeds, which can float on the water's surface, but can be attached to willow branches or reeds. Females typically lay two eggs, but can produce five to seven that are covered with weeds when not being incubated, with both sexes incubating and caring for the young after they hatch. Once hatched, young grebes are capable of swimming and diving soon after hatching, and if there are more than two hatchlings, both sexes will each identify their favourites, which they alone will care for. The adults teach their young how to swim by carrying them on their backs, and then diving, leaving the chicks to float on the surface, and then re-emerging a few feet away so that the chicks may swim back to them. In New Zealand, crested grebes are threatened due to predation by introduced mammals like stoats and ferrets. The loss of shoreline and nesting habitats, as well as the establishment of hydroelectric power schemes and disturbance by power boating and perhaps other recreational activities on lakes, in New Zealand, birds occur widely across the South Island, but are extinct in the North Island, although birds are occasionally seen there. Birds appear to prefer clear, high country lakes, hence why their strongholds are located in the alpine and subalpine lakes and tarns of Canterbury and the northern Mackenzie Basin. The New Zealand population is currently increasing after reaching a low of about 200 birds in the 1980s with the population increasing to about 400 birds in 2004 and 600 in 2012, and while there has been no recent census, numbers in Otago alone now exceeds 600 birds, and the combined population in Australia and New Zealand is likely to be less than 3,000 birds. This increase is down to improved nesting success due to predator control, and artificial nesting platforms have also been utilised to establish a population at Lake Wanaka, and having been given the wildlife refuge status, receive one of the highest form of legal protection for terrestrial and aquatic wildlife, allowing the Minister of Conservation to prohibit or restrict activities on lakes and their margins, 
With this, this will hopefully allow the Grebes to increase their numbers and to become more and more common in the years to come. And with that, I thank you for watching this instalment of New Zealand's Bird of the Week. For next time, you are now able to vote for the White Snape's Petrel, large and elegant seabirds that were once thought to be extinct, but were thankfully rediscovered. And with that, I'll see you next time, whenever that may be.